What's going on, everybody? So there'll be three game modes, game styles, whatever you want to call them, Madden 18, simulation, competitive, and arcade. If you haven't watched my previous video, I discussed what arcade was. Right now, we're going to talk about competitive mode. Okay, from all the articles that I've been reading about competitive mode, pretty much competitive mode is all Madden. That's what it is. It's a game that the slider is on all Madden. When I say that, I'm talking to you about vintage Madden games. And for all my veteran Madden players, you know what I'm saying. Back in the day, when we had the different modes, the different modes actually translated to the field. If you played all Madden, it was much harder to do certain things, always guaranteed interceptions. There were things that happened within the game that made it very, very difficult for you to get any flu. Ergo, competitive mode. It's going to be the same game, the slider is just going to be differently matched and, the, and it, the, you know, the style will probably be based in the all Madden type gameplay, okay? So that means that when you throw an interception, it's going to be an interception. If you throw the ball right at somebody's user, it's not going to go through their neck anymore. It's going to be an interception. That's pretty much what competitive mode is going to be. I don't need them to write a blog for that. I don't need them to start to describe it. I know what it is just based on looking at the different gameplay styles because anything else doesn't make sense. If you think about what I'm trying to tell you right now, it should be clicking in your head. This is what the game has been. It's nothing different about what's going on. This is exactly what they promised you and it's the same thing that they used to give you years back in different type of game settings because everything that I've read about it so far with the limited amount of information that's been put out, it just translates to the fact that they understand what they've been doing in 16 and 17, and they wanna distinguish that, yeah, we did F up, but we're gonna give you a different mode, so that way you can understand that we did recognize it, and we wanna keep those guys happy that the bums, you know, that came out throwing the ball in the quadruple coverage, but we also wanna start to make the people that have been our fans for so long appreciate what we're putting out that's what these gameplay styles are about so let me just break it down like this for you if you're a total bum which most of you are what's going to happen is this you're going to go to a gameplay style and you're going to go to arcade mode now look i'm not saying that everybody's a bum i'm just saying that in 16 and 17 there was it wasn't major distinct you couldn't really distinguish who were really really good players and who were really, really bad players. Because if you even watch the competitive scene, a lot of them got flukes. And I'm pretty sure that you guys can write in the comment section right now, if you watched every competitive tournament, the flukes that were happening. Everybody got flukes. It is nobody that did it. I don't give a damn who it is. And I don't wanna hear it. Everybody, every single person that played got some kind of weird fluke. So it was obviously something that was inside the game that made it more of an arcade type game. And after numerous complaints and ridiculousness after the last two years, EA Sports said, you know what? They're probably right. That guy, G. Maya, he's a total douche, but he probably is on to something. Maybe we should change the way the game is, you know, the game modes and things of that nature. So that way people can understand the game is still the same for some people, but let's separate it within the same game. It's genius. The marketing of this is genius. I don't know who came up with that to actually list the gameplay styles of something new when we all know it's the same exact thing, but I have to give them a lot of credit. It's unbelievably smart because you kill more than two birds with one stone. It just makes everything a lot easier because now when you go to a stream, depending on what that person is grinding for, you can see based on the game mode what's going on. And then now you expect it which is very, very smart. So I can't, if I if I stream Madden 18, right? And I decide to play in arcade mode, I can't rage because the ball is going through people's bodies like it regularly did in Madden 17 and Madden 16. I can't rage about that anymore because I'm in the game mode for that. You understand what I'm saying? Like look, stuff like that when I'm trying to tackle them and, I, and I'm trying to run to the locker room, go there, I'll see you in a minute. See, things like that, that make that that this guy that I'm playing might have been raging, you know, trying to kick something, kick through his wall, break his remote. That is going to be acceptable now in arcade mode. But in competitive mode, that won't happen. What will happen in competitive mode is he'll make the tackle, or it'll be a hit stick, and it'll be a fumble. So it'll be more relatable to what the style is. 
what all that means is that you're playing on a higher level of gameplay which has always been something that we were able to do ourselves by just simply clicking all pro and all matter you guys know what i'm talking about but most of you will say yeah but yeah but yeah i don't give a damn about your butts because what happens is all of you guys run your mouths and talk and ah oh, blah 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 Jimai only complains all the stuff like that now you got all the game modes that translate into exactly what i've been saying and then now it's like yeah he's kind of right but he's still a douche and i agree with that i've never told anybody that i wasn't a douche but i'm an honest douche and i'm gonna let you know exactly what's going on and i'm gonna make sure that the people that choose to subscribe to me and watch my videos and come to my twitch streams and sub to me on Twitch and rock my glow emotes, I'm gonna make sure you guys know that I'm telling you what I feel. Because if I don't, I'm just like everybody else. Why Why do I wanna be like everybody in this, in this big world? Why do I wanna be like everybody else? Why not just be me? And that's how I've always lived. And I don't give a F about what anybody thinks about what I do. Yeah, I swerve dude's panties off. I don't give a F. Now, look, they have blatantly admitted to putting out a game that has been an arcade style game for the last two years and all you guys are excited about seeing snapshots about end of game screens for Madden 18 when there's no gameplay available yet, but you're mad at me? I'm trying to really correlate and understand why people can pick and choose who they want to be mad at when everybody is surrounding within the same thing. It's all the same thing. If you really think about it, there's nothing really different about anything that's been going on. It's all the same thing. It's always been an arcade game. Ever since OBJ mossed that bum Brandon Carr, EA Sports went berserk. And they didn't know what to do, and they had to make sure that that catch was in the game, and that's all they cared about. The people that were doing defense were like, ah, don't worry about defense. Oh, you wanna make them intercept? Ah, don't worry about interceptions. Ah, you wanna make the ball go through their body? Yes! Those are the conversations that had to have happened. Because if you played the game, you understand the animosity and the rage that I had for the game. You've seen my Madden 16 videos. You know exactly how I felt about it. And all along, it was just it was just NFL Blitz. It was just Madden 18 arcade mode. So now, looking forward with competitive mode, it's gonna be a bunch of all these douchebags that are gonna choose to play it because, oh, I don't want no fluke. Meanwhile, those same guys made so much money off of flukes this year. So everybody is just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, if you guys don't realize what's going on, I can't help you see it. All I can tell you is this. The amount of things that have happened to me in this game, he dropped that? In Madden 17. You fully expect them to be able to fix that by changing sliders and calling something competitive. And like I said, all that's gonna happen is it's gonna be easier to do the things that we should already be able to do. And everybody's gonna be happy and rejoice. And that's what makes EA win. It makes perfect sense. But people are gonna still ignore the fact that everything we just went through for the last couple years was ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. They added 10 new zones in Madden 17. And most of them run off the field when you're playing defense but they were worried about the swerve. So I wanna see, what I'm going to do, I'm not gonna let you guys know exactly what I'm gonna do when the game is released, but I'm gonna just dissect a lot of the things that go on with it. And I'm gonna check out the game modes, and I'm gonna let you guys know. If it turns out to be something to where EA Sports really, really put something into it, and they, you know, gave the, they gave the people, both the bum fans, the vintage fans, the longtime sim fans, if they gave everybody what they want, I gotta give them kudos. But if it turns out that I can visibly see that it's the same game regardless of the mode, and then it's just sliders that are being adjusted to make it what it could have been in 16 and 17, what do you do? Get the hell in the end zone. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know about that as well. But it's very, very clear that these game styles are just simply letting you go. It's like putting a Band-Aid on a boo-boo that needs stitches and everybody's going to go and run like savage animals after the game and love it and love it and love it. But I have to continue to be objective because I owe that to my subs. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Let me know your thoughts about competitive mode.
one love.